Let's talk about this conspiracy in a little more detail and depth. Oops. Basically, all of you, or at least I would think some of you, have heard of a document, an historical document called the Protocols of the Learned Elders of Zion. Now, that was used, that document was used by a lot of people, including Hitler, to blame the Jews for virtually everything that was wrong in the conspiracy, that, that they were causing all of the troubles that were in the world. Unfortunately, they got the wrong elders and they got the wrong Zion. The actual thing that we're talking about here is the Priory of Zion. And notice how it's spelled up there. It's not spelled with a Z the way the Bible spells it, at least the way the King James Bible spells it. It's spelled with an S, the way the Catholic Bible spells it. And that's for a reason. The Priory of Zion is a fairly secret until maybe the last 10 years or so, high-level Masonic Rosicrucian-type body. And the Priory of Zion believes that it is the keeper of the Holy Grail. This group believes that it has the bloodline of Jesus Christ, that Jesus had children by Mary Magdalene and that down through the centuries it has guarded that bloodline. And that many of the, like, for example, the Merovingian kings and some of the other kings down through the century, right up today, and of course you may know this, that Prince Charles and Queen Elizabeth claim to be descended all the way back to King David. They believe they have this royal bloodline. And this group is planning on trying to destroy biblical Christianity by the year 2000. And the way they're going to do it, see, they, they teach in their inner circles. And now this has all kind of been revealed by a series of books, beginning with the book Holy Blood, Holy Grail, back around 1986, 1987, that, that Jesus did not die on the cross, that he was spirited away from the tomb, that he married Mary Magdalene, and they ran off and lived happily ever after and had children, and that he died a happy old age. And down through the years, these descendants of Mary Magdalene today are part of the reigning houses of Europe and the reigning houses of Freemasonry. And they, will, they believe they will very soon rule the world. But here's the interesting thing. The way they believe they're going to destroy Christianity forever is sometime in the next couple of years, this is the planning, and God can always interfere with these plans, is they're going to produce the bones of Jesus or at least what they claim are the bones of Jesus. They're going to produce the bones of Jesus, or at least what they claim are the bones of Jesus. I don't know how they're going to prove that. Six of the ten have inscriptions on them that have been recorded and cataloged. One of them says, Jesus, son of Joseph. And a Judah, son of Jesus. This group believes that it has the bloodline of Jesus Christ, that Jesus had children. This group is planning on trying to destroy biblical Christianity. <laughs> You're probably asking yourself, what has this guy, this Hollywood filmmaker, got to do with this? 
And I think that it's fair to say that probably most people uh, know me as a, as a maker of movies, such as Titanic and Terminator and things like that.